All right, guys. We got a store location here in Ohio that their complaint is the sales floor is really, really hot. So we're about to climb up on the roof and check out uh, these units. I know they should be brand new units. Two years ago, I installed three brand new rooftop, rooftop units at this location. So I'm curious to see what we're going to get into. But as soon as I got my ladder set up, secured, I'll bring it along for the ride. So talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. So these York units I installed about a year ago, maybe a year and a couple months. Um, this location doesn't have any sort of preventative maintenance program in place, although we recommend it every single year because we come out here usually on an emergency call and have to clean out all the cottonwood out of their, their coils, right? Now this unit, this unit is running despite it having a bunch of cottonwood in its coils take you on a little bit of a trip over here to this unit that I found so they have two out of their four units are down now this unit hopefully my camera is gonna pick it up through this finger guard but this unit if you'll notice that fan blade is all chopped up the fan motor has been stopped for who knows how long that blade that blade looks like it snapped off it doesn't have it doesn't appear to have damaged the condensing coil at all it just kind of for whatever reason it snapped off and stopped this motor so we're gonna go ahead and replace that entire motor and blade assembly capacitor the nine yards and then we're gonna clean that condensing coil too now the best part is gonna be this front unit this front unit is what initially we were called for so the front unit was completely dead disconnect was on but it's completely dead so Got to poking around. Condenser coil's not bad. See, it's nice and clean. Not too terrible. Then I got the noticing right here. We have wires that used to go to um, a high pressure switch, I believe, on both sides. So why are they just hanging there? Well, then you get to looking around, come down here, and the discharge side of our compressor on both compressors just the discharge side right there see right here that's our discharge side of the compressor both lines coming out of the compressor have been it doesn't even look like they've been cut but they've just kind of been ripped off At least with a hacksaw or a sawzall, you get a little bit of a better cut, but you know those have been maybe ripped off. I'm not real sure. But then if you come up over here into our filter section, you can kind of see right here. That's the line coming off of one of the compressors going into the condenser. I'm not sure which circuit it is because we have two circuits on this. So and that one when they cut that. You can tell they cut it and they also bent this at a 90 so we gotta probably cut that back towards the condenser and just run a new piece of pipe through there and here's the other circuit right here they cut that didn't damage it too much so I can probably cut that out cut that back connect a new piece to it that shouldn't be shouldn't be too terrible but uh, it looks like they only stole the discharge lines coming off the compressor for some odd reason I don't know if crackhead maybe got spooked or maybe had a change of heart and decided to get a job instead of stealing copper to to get five bucks for his crack but that's uh that's a bizarre one now my other other problem is there's just enough nub on this compressor where i i could try to heat that up pull out the, the little piece of copper that they left there um I don't know if I'd be able to successfully do that, but what I'm thinking too is I could either, I could put a union over top of it, but my biggest concern really is, you know, this is a PoE compressor, and I don't know how long it's been this way. I don't know how long it's, it's just been open like that, and it's been really, really hot and muggy here, so there's a lot of moisture that's just been exposed to this compressor, so... We're probably just going to ultimately quote to replace both compressors, even though, even though the compressors are fine for now, but they're going to have all sorts of acid problems in the future. So I'm going to quote to replace both compressors, 
do some line work, vacuum, dryer, recharge, the whole nine yards. So, I don't know, kind of a different one. It's been a little while since I've seen, seen something like this. Normally when people break into these units and steal copper, they steal more than two pieces of copper. So I'm not, I'm not real sure. I'm kind of confused by this whole thing. But who knows? Maybe it's just somebody learning how to be a crackhead and they don't know what they're supposed to do yet to get their crack money. You never know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.